Welcome back to the Oddcast. I'm Alex. And I'm Ricky. And we're just two odd dudes who decided to start a podcast. And today we're talking about how to take everyday products and make them better than they currently are. Right. Like socks? Should have... Toes. More holes in them. More holes. A second one. (laughs) (laughs) Or would it be one? Like a straw. It'd be two. It's already got one. But like same with a straw. Straw has two holes. Right. So if you took one... If you took a tube sock, Mm -hmm. cut a hole at the other side, how many holes? Two. How come? Because you got one, you put it in, one, you put it out. Obviously. But the water goes in and out of a straw. One in and one out. out. It's two holes. Oh, yeah. Oh, so it would be two. I don't know why I was arguing. (laughs) (laughs) We're off to a great start. I I thought you said a straw had one hole this whole time. Never said that. Never said that. Not even close. Well, yeah, we're going to talk about... <laughs> Back to the race. <laughs> we're going to talk about socks. We're going to talk maybe about cars, refrigerators. You yep. know, we're we're going to have some opinions on things, yeah. which we are historically good at. Yeah. They're we, not always good. I, honestly, I can't remember a time where I didn't have opinions. That's a good point. Yeah. I, Thank as, you. As long as I remember, I remember opinionating about things. Yeah. So it'd be it'd be a good time. It be, As it is. Before we get in, can I bring up an Instagram thing that I posted? Yeah. Did you see what I posted? I um I remember you posted something the other day. Yeah, it was like over the weekend. What was it? I think it was on Monday. Did well, you see what, did you see my post on my on my story? No. Um so I was bored and I thought it was Oh funny. yeah, it was the poll or poll. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, so I did see that. I I posted uh, a picture <laughs> on my story. Yeah. <laughs> Cuz I really was interested in how people would Think would react because yeah. I was having a. Do you ever have a conversation in your own head? Yeah, this is a really long intro. All Sorry. the time. Yeah, I was having a conversation in my own head uh, about the English language, just how confusing it could be. Yeah, I don't know how it started. I was sitting in my barbershop waiting for my hair to get cut. Right, and right. I was starting to have this idea of just how words have a lot of meaning, and I was like, yeah, like pole and pole, and I was like, that'd be a funny pole. <laughs> so I. <laughs> This is how my brain works, people. Just you What know. does it say? Does it say, I, what is this? No. It says, is this a pole or a pole? I answered completely based off of the so, fo- footage or photo. It, the photo is a pole. Yeah. P-O-L-E. But what you're answering but is a pole. But what you're answering is a pole, which is P-O-L-L. So no one's technically wrong. No one's wrong. But I was really interested to see, like, is based off English language and just based off of just the picture. Yeah. How are people going to react? Right, right. And the instinct, 92% of people voted, and a lot of people voted on this, like more than most of my stuff. Yeah, right. Voted on the background picture, that the P-O, it was a P-O-L-E, a pole. Yeah. But everyone that did that took the pole, the P-O-L-L. I know. That's a good, honestly, I didn't even think about that. (laughs) I didn't think about that at all. I was like, obviously, it's a pole. (laughs) It's so funny. Like every, it was just like re- reaction based, yeah. Yeah. and I had multiple people messaging me. Okay, I'm I'm gonna be honest. I looked at it and I was like P O L L, and then I was like, but I was thinking the actual light pole, yeah. and then I was like, wait, how do you spell pole? <laughs> and then I had to remember how you spell pole, like you're polling somebody, like you did on Instagram. Yeah, and I was like, oh, it's P O L E. So I had someone was like, uh, I didn't mean to click that one. I'm not dumb, which I thought was hilarious because yeah. I'm like, you can be dumb. Either one is right. Right, right. And then someone's like, it's a poll about a poll, which is like, exactly. That's what's funny about right, it. Right, right. And then someone was like, is it the picture about, is the picture about the picture or the question? Which I was like, your question is confusing me. And I just said both. And they said, ah, that's what I thought. Yeah. So anyways, I had a lot of fun with it because so many people engaged. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But 92% of people went with the picture. So I think it just told me something about people are more visual. They're visual. Yeah, they're yeah, visual. yeah. So, you know, uh, just a little segue before we end this intro. Uh, we also post these on YouTube, and you should follow us on Instagram. Oh, excuse me, Oddstagram. Yeah. Let's get to the Oddcast. All right, let's be honest. We came into this not knowing what we're talking not about. Not even a little bit. And... Uh, but what we're, we are good at right. is having opinions. Right. 
and we've been honest before on this podcast is sometimes we leave and we go, I don't agree with anything I just said. Yeah. <laughs> We're not going to tell you which one of those episodes those are, but there are times where we leave. Yeah. It's all the ones you think it's not. Yeah. That's a- what it is. Amen. So um, we're talking about everyday products, things you interact with. And the hope is that throughout this next right. 45-ish minutes, yeah, we will have a brain blast idea that will revolutionize the world. The yeah, odd, we are Shark Tank. The odd boys right on now. Shark Tank. Amen. <laughs> but we are, we are pre-Shark Tank. Yeah. We are in the pond. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Preparing for the tank. Preparing for the river. To get it's to gonna the take tank. us to the lake, which will take us to the ocean. You know, a lake where we can get is just melted ice. With the sharks, <laughs> is it really? Yeah, it just melted ice. Wow, that's <laughs> wild. I would have never. <laughs> you remember that? You know what? You know what I would change? What technology I would change? The ice maker. Yeah, just make it straight up water. Actually, on this. Okay. No, no, no. On this. <laughs> what? On this. How, how do you have something on this? No. Now that not something I would oh I would change this. Yeah. There is an ice there there is a fridge. Yeah. That makes ice balls. Okay. Perfect clear spheres. And like tiny ones? No, like the bigger ones. Oh, okay. Like the yeah. molded ones? Yeah, yeah. There's a fridge that does There's that. There's a fridge that makes those. That's, not exclusively though. It has no, another ice machine. It's got another right? machine at the bottom that makes that and pumps those bad That's boys out. Awesome. It has a normal one. All fridge Fridge freezers should have that. I totally agree. Also, why is fridge have no D, but refrigerator does? Fridge does have a D. Well, which one doesn't have the D? Refrigerator. refrigerator. I said it wrong. Oh, yeah. Okay. okay. That is weird. Why? Why? I don't know. That makes no sense. Because fridge is, I guess, I imagine it's a, it's a slang word. Yeah. But they add... A D right, right to the middle of that that How, word, but who, refrigerator doesn't have the D. Is there any other word like that? Like, I mean, like, like, no, 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 not like doesn't. Not that sounds like it. Like refrigerator is it like a? How many syllables is that? Like four? I don't know. I'm never good at the syllables thing. Five. It's got it's five syllables, and we took one of the syllables in the middle as the nickname. Yep. Like they they completely forgot the re and the erator. Who mean, did the, that? The re makes sense. Because you take it right, out, of right, a, right. out of a cold place. You bring it home and you, you re-coldify it. Right, it's a refrigerator. So it's a re-fridge. Oh, yeah. But who who made the nickname there? Don't know. They're like, wait, hey, put in that fridge. I think I think Ader should just be dropped off of everything that does The something. re-fridge? Yeah. Oh. Like a refrigerator? Yeah. Or the alligator? <laughs> alligator. <laughs> that was a good one. Yeah, thank you. Uh, so that's my first one. Yeah. All refrigerators should have a secondary ice maker at the bottom with ice balls. I 100% agree 100% 100% agree with 100%. this. I 100 100 parents agree with this. Except <laughs> I think they all <laughs> four out of five dentists and 100 parents, parents agree, agree with, with this. this. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't even know where I was going anymore. Oh, no, and and refrigerators, or I guess the freezers, yeah. the ice machines that they have in them should be better. Like, if you yeah. go to the store and get ready ice, it's like that nice, clear yeah, ice. Good it ice. tastes good. Yeah. You yeah. know? Why isn't it like that in refrigerators? Well, that's because of the water source and the filters. Yes. Yeah. yeah. They need better filters. Maybe that's true. They do need better filters. Let me ask you this. Okay. This is, we are nowhere near where we were going to land, but I'm curious now. Okay. Curious yeah. now. Okay. I'm listening. You got a, your fridge, right? Mm-hmm. You got the door. Yep. You got the milk spot. Do you put the milk in the milk spot? No. What do you put? You, you don't have two gallon. That's why. Do you buy two gallons of milk? I do buy two gallons. Where do you put the no, milk? No, I buy a one gallon. Yeah, yeah, one gallon. Where do you put the milk? I put it on, on the lowest shelf above the vegetable and the whatever other drawer. Well, what, do you put in drawer. The, what do you put in the milk spot? Um, I think right now we have orange juice. I think they're- That's acceptable. Yeah. And it's another juice or yeah. drink. Actually, we have orange juice, chicken broth, and beef broth. All right. Those two are not. But we have That's weird stuff there too, my wife. Do you put the eggs in the egg carton thing? Nope. We buy eighteen or sets of eighteen eggs. So they so don't, don't fit. fit. Yeah. But if they did, say you got a twelve, would you put it there? Um, maybe, but we typically buy like three things of eighteen whenever we buy eggs. So why do you buy so many eggs? We eat eggs. I eat three eggs every morning and Your Tony cholesterol eats two. has to be high as heck. Probably. You gotta slow down on the eggs. I might not. You need to. I'm I might not. You, I've got a, I got a few years before I need to yeah, start worrying about be, that. You need to start thinking Cheerios. 
Not not if you're eating three eggs a day, pal. I think I got a few years. <laughs> three eggs a day is a lot of eggs. Yeah, probably. Probably. I like eggs, though. Mm-hmm. Okay. You got the middle drawer, and then you got the two lower There's drawers. no middle drawer for me. There's the two bottom drawers. That's all you have is two bottom well, drawers? Well, hold on. So there's two bottom drawers. There's a shelf, and then there's another shelf that has a drawer on the bottom of it that yeah. slides back and forth so I can put it on the left or the right. That's weird. Or in the middle. It is fish. It is weird, man. But the bearings on it work really well. It slides so easily you that I, I don't like even care. Sliding it back yeah, in. it's really nice. Okay. Well, then this question, I was going to ask you, what do you what do you put in each drawer? Because we go like oh, yeah. veggies because yeah, yeah, yeah. ours is a crisper. Yeah. I don't know what that means. <laughs> that I don't means, know how yeah. that works, but yeah. we put the veggies there. Erica's veggies go there. Yeah. Next one, tortillas. Okay, yeah. Cheese and lunch meats. So you have three drawers. Yeah. Bottom drawer, fruits. Yeah. Okay. Here's the problem. I Are love they... fruit, but I forget about them in the bottom drawer. They're so far away. Oh. So we have three. We I separate know. them out. I, we have very different setups for our, our fridge to freezer. Your fridge is one of those ones that's two doors. Mm-hmm. One door is a refrigerator and one is... The freezer. Well, I mean, mine's the same way, but yours is vertical. Mine is yeah. horizontal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so mine's very different. I have I have and more refrigerator than top. freezer. Yeah, and I have very little freezer room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I can I can put like some meat in there and some Half ice cream. A turkey. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um so yours is very different. You have like the three big bin drawers. Yeah. With I have two, two big, big bins, bin drawers. And one is like this big. Yeah. Okay. I actually that's probably have that one. size for that's my cheese drawer. Yeah. Cheese. That's how I grew up. But that's our veggie one because yeah. Erica like eats a lot of veggies, so that's yeah. like right there, right at the top. But cheese now goes with the tortillas because it's usually shredded Mexican style cheese. Right, and I eat a lot of cheese crisps. I actually I do too, and that it makes sense to me because it also goes with a lunch meat. It's all right. In the, I, oh, yeah. So then I only have to open one drawer. Yeah, we have lunch meat, cheese, and then cheese sticks in there. But our tortillas go in our pantry because we have the cooked ones. Yeah, I would change the fridge though. I want more drawers. Even if it's more drawers? Be, even if it's got to be taller. I think I if want you're more doing that, variety. You need one side. Like if you do, if you're if you have a fridge like mine where it's like a whole the whole ha- bottom half mm-hmm. or bottom two thirds is yeah, break the refrigerator. Up. I think you need yeah one half is drawers because yeah. sometimes you get like you know a bottle of milk or like really fancy orange juice or something like that that's just too tall for that section down there. I put mine in the door, man. That's why you miss it. Sometimes it's too tall for that. You've never had like anything in there that's been too tall. No, because mm-hmm. they make those. They make that slot. Amen, brother. I know. You're putting in the I'm, wrong slot. I'm just saying if you if you buy any other like milk that's tall like we've bought some like oat milk or whatever because Bro, how tall is this thing? I don't know. They make those bottles weird shapes. I think I think your fridge is just a weird shape. I think it's a very normal shape. Because mine I can fit a two liter in that spot. There's nothing bigger than a, I'm not buying anything bigger than a two liter. But here's what I think. Then let's move to another one. Okay. We need four drawers. I need a cheese drawer. Okay. Veggie. Okay. Lunch meat. Yep. Fruit. So you're trying to split the cheese and lunch meat. Split it all up. Yeah, that makes sense. Cheese and meat. Flip those. Yeah. Yep. And Even I, if you I got some like cheese bacon, and you want to put in there or something? Exactly. It's not bacon. You wouldn't. But I want to keep the the veggies away from that stuff. But I don't. Totally. Want the, I can't. I can't have like fruit yeah. next to veggies because we like bell peppers. Well, we don't. Eric does. Right. 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 And Dozer. Dozer really likes bell. Dozer peppers. likes bell peppers. He loves them. He gets weird about it. And carrots. Huh. It's really funny watching me eat carrots. Not a fan of strawberries. He licks them, spits them out, licks them again, spits them out, and then eats it. What? Every time. Maybe he is a fan. He just wants to experience it multiple times. No. He goes like this, makes these weird faces. He goes like this. But it's also food, and he's, you know, a little chunky, so he's not going to pass up on food. He's like, well, I don't like it particularly, but I'll take it. How would you fix or make better a vehicular? A vehicle, a car. Oh, oh, interesting phrasing. So it doesn't have to necessarily be that it's going to be a car. Correct. How would I make it better? Well, there's the obvious route of giving, like making it fly, but that's that's terrible. That's a terrible idea. People are terrible at driving. We should not make yeah, flying cars. I agree. We we can't handle right a singular plane right where you can only go right or left right and forward and backwards. Obviously, right, right. right. We can't handle that. Even when we're all going forward at the same rate. Yeah. Why would we want to add up and down as an option? Horrifying. And they have, I mean, you, we've seen Back to the Future where they have like the highways in the air. Never What's that happen. about? Never going to work. What? Why do we need that? Why don't they just have them on the ground? Never going to work. Terrible. Can I you imagine doing air traffic with that? Oh, gosh. 
There wouldn't be any. Yeah. Imagine pulling someone over. <laughs> Lay in the plane. <laughs> so, shooting people yeah, out of yeah. the sky. Could you imagine running out of gas? Or I mean, something you just malfunctioning? Kind of, you just kind of glide. Well, what if something malfunctioned? What if like you're... That's true. People you know, are not trained for that. You're going to fall to the earth. That's a terrible idea. Horrible. That is terrible. I think I think all cars should have a mini fridge in them. Ooh, like in the center console or something yes. like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you keeping in there, honestly? Uh, yeah. You keep know. anything good in the center console? You're keeping like portable you, tissues? You can't, keep, you? you can't even keep anything of value. Right. At least I can't. I get anxious. Right. Someone I'm like, I can't leave. It. Someone might steal it. Answer. Would your mini fridge have drawers? Would my yes. It, would you have cheese in your I mini fridge? I would not put cheese. I'm th- I'm th- I'm thinking like drinks specifically. So here, like here would be water. the question. Because if you have a mini fridge in there, it has to stay cool when your car's off. Yeah, obviously. So it would just have solar to be airtight panel. or something. Yeah. Oh, solar panel. Solar yeah. panel on the back bumper area. Yeah. A that spoiler is, that, that is, is a solar got panel. Got a secondary battery specifically to run the mini fridge when it's I off it's a great idea so you got to be cautious because you know you park in the garage you got to know it might not, so might not work. Yeah, i yeah, wouldn't yeah. put anything that spoils in there but like some sodas yeah some waters right especially you're going on a long trip exactly road tripping right change your life totally man. change your life this is then a great you, idea then you could take some cold stuff you don't have to carry a cool you just put it in a little mini fridge yeah genius i might start just taking this with me wherever yeah. i go <laughs> plug it in <laughs> plug it in, it in a car into a car <laughs> It's got a car jack on That's it. That's awesome. It's just sitting there. Maybe I will. My car, truck battery would be dead all the yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why, why, why are we jumping? Get, ah, it's the mini fridge. You want a you <laughs> Pepsi, though? <laughs> Ice cold, baby. <laughs> um, I think what I would do to cars is I would give them those, like, wheels that are not actually wheels. They're, like, balls, they're like a sphere, so they can travel left and right. You know what I'm talking about? You want to add more chaos to the road. I I do because I think if like especially if you're if you're <laughs> if you're working if you're working with your car in like New York or something like that or somewhere you have to parallel park and it's really uh, tight okay. you can just yeah but point to the right but we've already fixed this we have self parking cars yeah but this would be easier you have a self parking car that you don't have to like go forward and back let, let me ask you this have you ever been trying to like back into a parking spot or parallel park somebody somewhere and somebody comes up right behind you and you can't back up anymore because they were driving behind you? No. You've never had that happen to no, you? No, I have a big truck, Paul, man. have you had that happen? One, I don't parallel park. Somebody's got to have had that happen. Oh, yeah, you do have Two, to Two, I have a truck. People don't tend to get in your way. I'm just saying. Just being honest. I've had it happen where somebody's just like, maybe they're not thinking or they're like, yeah, we're just driving. I don't know why he's stopping, so I'm going to be right behind him. Yeah. And then I can't park there anymore. If I could just pull up right next to it, those balls roll over right. Yeah. I'm in that parking spot. Easy. I think in that situation, you need to just open the door and ask politely for them to back up so you can park in that spot. Yeah. Maybe that's a good point. Be less conflict evasive. Okay. But how about this? Imagine the incredible scenes in Fast and Furious. Yes. If it, a drifting like that. That'd be crazy. That'd be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> it's going straight. Just instantly takes a 90 degree. Starts going sideways. Oh, uh, that seems like there would be a lot of problems. Yeah, there. probably. Have you seen the tires though that don't have air in them? What the airless tire? You seen these? They're no. like a rigid rubber, so like you can see through them, but they're they hold like a normal tire. You can see through them. Yeah, because they're not like rounded. They're not filled with anything, so they don't have to have like the outer wall like a typical tire has. Yeah, they are. Yeah, it's like a cross hex type what? design. Yeah. They're incredible looking. And no air. I don't That's know how really long nice. they last. Right, right. But man. But if we could change that? The, I mean, the not we. Like that thin too. The tread? Yeah, the tread's pretty thin. That's super cool. With them. Yeah. yeah. They just fine. And like then you get, you know, a nail, doesn't matter. You wow. Pull that baby out and keep going. That's brilliant. Yeah. yeah. If that doesn't happen in the next, like, 30 to 40 years Mm -hmm. i'm gonna be amazed yeah i think it will here here's another thing i thought i think windshield should pop in and out easier like a visor huh interesting i mean you gotta think about how often do windshields get cracked i mean most insurances have that just as an option you get wind like glass coverage yeah 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 so it happens fairly frequently 
And it's a really difficult process. I don't know, man. I've want, seen. I've had one of those safe light guys come out, and he fixes like a windshield in like twenty five minutes. I know it's incredible. But you got to have a specialized guy to come do it. Sure, sure, yeah. But I'm just I mean, saying, if we could build a way to like, what if I want like a blue or windshield that day? If it's really sunny, take off a clear windshield, put on a a little a, sun a sunscreen, sun windshield. You know? Like I okay. have with my snowboard goggles. Think about that. Little Magnus. Boop, boop. So you're thinking you would like replaceable windshields too. So you yeah. would you would buy your truck yeah. and then you'd buy like three windshields. You're like, I want it to be blue today. Yes. Or maybe you could get your colorblind glasses oh, as a windshield. That would be cool. That would be awesome. That, or we just need a windshield that is like polarizing, be tinted. Yeah. Like yeah, when it like gets that. sunny out, it gets a little darker. That's a better idea. Let's scrap the original three. We just need a better polarized windshield. Like one of the, um, shoot, it's like the one, the color changing glasses, the, exactly. like the shade changing. Yeah. yeah what yeah, is yeah, that? Yeah. The, uh, I don't know. Tinted? No, it's not tinted. That's something. Yeah. They like transitional. Transitional. Yeah. 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 We yeah. need that, but in windshields. We and you can turn it on and off. You'd have to be able to. Yeah. We have the technology. Yeah. Why can't we do that? I think they they have idea. the self fogging glass where you can like turn on a button, the glass fogs up, can't see in it. You turn it off. Why can't we just do that with a little, little, uh, tinting? We need that. For the side windows on a car. Oh, yeah. That would be great. That would be great. Except we for just, it's illegal to have just, a certain amount of tinting. So, Well, just get rid of that law. Who cares? Yeah, that's true. You wouldn't do it on the front window, obviously. But no, the side ones, like want, when you... I want a little tinting on the front no, window. No, no, I'm talking about like the static. You yeah, can't yeah, see yeah, through yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. We don't want that. Like yeah. limo tinting. Why can mm-hmm. limos do it, but I can't? Right. Seems a little suspicious. Right, yeah. Just saying. What do they have? Diplomatic immunity or something? <laughs> it's ridiculous. I wonder, I wonder if a cop's ever pulled over a limo, and it's just been like taking up half of a street, you know, because it's so <laughs> Cause long. It's so long. Uh, our limo coming back from prom, yeah, my senior year, broke down. Really? Yes. And uh, we had to get out and push it. <laughs> Did we you were... get a discount? Yes. Okay. Okay. We left the uh, place, the prom. Place. Yeah, yeah, we were at the wigwam. Oh, nice. Yeah, and um, we made about a mile. Oh, nice. And it broke down, like in the middle of the street. Mm. It just stopped mm-hmm. moving, so we had to push it into a parking lot. Nice. Um, so then it's like, what time is prom in? Eleven. It's like eleven yeah. thirty. Like yeah, it's yeah. late because you know it takes a while to get all the limos out of there. Right. And everything. It's late. It's like eleven thirty midnight. We're all starving. Yeah. Because we haven't eaten for six hours. Whatever. Right, right. And nowhere would let us, none of the fast food places would let us order. And we were trying to explain to them, like, no, we're coming from prom. Literally, we, we're we stranded here. Because yeah. it's out, yeah. like, way out in Goodyear or whatever. Right. We all live over here in the west side. And, or less west than them, but yeah, yeah. our version of the west side. And we're like, we we cannot leave. Like yeah. we are asking you to be nice to us because we cannot push the limo through the drive. Right, right. So finally, I don't. I think some one of the restaurants I remember was nice to us, but then we just basically sat around and waited until they brought another limo. Okay, because there was so many of us. Yeah. We had we filled the limo. Yeah, and the other limo that came had already dropped someone else off, and there were two people in the limo, like two drivers. Yeah, so the front was full. Cause it only has two seats. So the original limo driver had to sit in the back with us. And he was, was that super guy. awkward? No, he was hilarious. Really? And he was like, I'll DJ for you guys. And he like had his phone and he had like Spotify or whatever. And he was like picking a bunch of pump up songs. It was so much fun. That's awesome. It was hilarious. And then we, I think we got a good discount. Way to redeem it. That guy. Yeah. He, he was cool. He was cool about it. But by that point, like people were falling asleep. In yeah, the limo yeah. Cause it was like, I think it took him almost over an hour to yeah. get out there. So we're like calling parents and parents are like, well, do we come get you? Cause we're 40 minutes away from our high school. Yeah. We're like, well, they said there'll be 40 minutes and then it was an hour. And, but then you had to drive 40 minutes back. It was a late night, but Damn. great story. Push the limo out prom. That's pretty sweet. And both of the people that were uh king and queen were in our group. So we had the king and queen pushing a limo. It was a great time. All right. Hey, I mean, honestly, that's a better story than both of my problems. Yeah. Doesn't make uh, the car any better. No, but no. limos overrated. Yeah, never. one thousand percent. You but just if they sit had the a, entire a mini time fridge with your in them, knees, they totally do. They have a mini fridge. I know yeah. with your knees and like at at your chin. I can't yeah. imagine what it's like for you. I've never you're, been in a limo. You're way taller than me. 
Yeah. Well, don't ever get in one. You'll never get out. We'll have to literally. I'll pull. sit in the back seat that has the <laughs> leg room that goes all the way up. You have to, all the way. Because if you sit normal, done so, man. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what other things can we make better? I wanna I wanna ask, and I have an idea, but I wanna ask you first. Uh, the toaster. How we can make it better? Yeah. How would you make the? Because to- you mean you're, you already have a toaster oven, which is different but similar. So you have to make it different enough from a toaster oven. Yeah. I don't want the numbers. Really? The numbers on the tab are stupid. I want a very clear what picture. What do they mean? Are they minutes? They're, supposedly they're minutes. I don't think they are. That's the quickest. Yeah. Three minutes of my life because yeah. three minute. Like let's be let's be real here. Three minutes in the microwave, as opposed to three minutes on the toaster. Way different. If it means minutes, that's a different time zone, man. It is. It doesn't make any sense. We should time it. We should time. That's it what we should do with when our we leave with here. our Quip toothbrushes. Yeah. Wait, those are two minutes. I know. So we'll, we'll, do, we'll two. do two minutes. Two, we'll two, two, and two. two. That, yeah. We'll see which one's accurate. Yeah. And with our phones. But yeah, I want to be able to be like, I want a little piece of toast picture. Yeah. And I want just a scale. How toasty. Yeah. yeah I yeah, want to yeah. be real exact on my toastness. What about bagels or English muffins? What would you do then? Just another picture. They've already got a it's bagel three button. Three pictures for each? I, I guess you, you really don't need the English muffin one. No. Nobody making English muffins, man. I like English muffins. Okay. I mean, well, I haven't well, eaten one in like eight months, but yeah, still, that, I like them. That doesn't I- irrelevant. Yeah, yeah. Bagels, toast, and we can have two different button sections. Yeah, you just have a little LED screen instead, instead of a yeah. Little you turn screen. it and it tells you where the toast, how it's toasty it is. Exactly. That's a great idea. I saw this toaster once. Fanciest toaster I've ever seen. You put the bread in. You press. You know how normally there's like the lever. Mm-hmm. It was a Breville toaster. You press the button and it slowly just, you know, Lowers descends. It. That's cool. Both of your toast piece or your your bread, and then once it's done, they slowly arise. Slowly no, rise. no, like they're like the popping up. They yeah. just rise up, and you're like, oh, thank you. Thank have you, for you coming seen back. The, the clear toaster? What? No. Yeah. Have you seen that? No. There's one that it uh it's got like coils up the side, and it's like glass. Yeah. So the glass heats up somehow. I don't totally know how it works. Yeah. But it like toasts the bread. And then I think there's like coils in it. So it's not completely clear, but you can see the bread. Yeah. Like getting toasted. Yeah. Also genius because then you can be like, oh, it's done a little early. Yeah. That is genius. I just want my toast to be exact. Yeah. I don't want it burnt. Yeah. And I don't want it so crispy that it's like a hockey puck. But I don't want to have to re-toast. Because if you toast once and it's not toasted enough, that piece of bread is done. Yeah. There's no way to find out the perfect measure now. Right. It's over. Yeah. It's gonna be too done, too much done. Yeah. Or you're just gonna keep having to do like half a second. Yep. Might as well throw up piece away and move on. Yep. Don't go for it. Here's what I want to do to toasters. Make I them want, invisible. Make them invisible. <laughs> so you don't know. You don't know. <laughs> you just have bread. You like a real shock some at some point. <laughs> I want them to be sideways. I want my toast. I want to put my toast in sideways. And then I want it so that it doesn't squeeze it on both sides. I wouldn't squeeze it at all. I want it so that only I the could, bottom gets burned. No, no, no. That's no, how no. gravity it, works. It would, it would toast from both sides, but it wouldn't. You know how the toaster squeezes it, squeezes the bread a little bit, like grabs it, oh, and brings yeah. it down. Yeah. I don't want it to do that. I want it to be so that I can put two pieces mine of bread do in. That. Yours doesn't do that. Yours mine just do moves down. Oh well, that's fine. It can be that. Yours like squeezes it. I've seen toasters that do that. Mine, I think mine does that. Yeah. Mine just moves them down. Maybe it squeezes the the bagels a little bit, but my bread is not that big. Yeah, I don't know. I'd have to check mine again. But I've I've definitely seen toasters that do that. Questioning my toaster. Now. I can't, I'm but sorry. What, so you want it this way? I want it horizontal, specifically so that I can take both. I can put a slice of cheese on either one, or like some mm. mozzarella. Put them in. They're done. The only problem I have is they can't is, touch the bread. Then. They can't touch. Yeah, I wouldn't touch the bread because then you get the you know yeah yeah cheese everywhere. I think that would be great because then you can make toasted cheese bread real easy or what kind of bread are you going to use though no i'd probably use like a sourdough or i would i would just go like a whole wheat if i'm feeling meh you know that's a choice man you wouldn't do sourdough with cheese what how are you how are you uh, how I, I just like sourdough so much i just want to eat it, it is really good it's really good. but you could also do that with butter you wouldn't have to worry about everything getting buttery and burnt i think it's a sure. great idea it's true i could see it i could see you uh rocking a sideways toaster we would have to design it nice though and also, if it's a spring-loaded one, it would shoot the pieces yeah, we of toast Yeah, we got to figure out how they're going to come out softly. But if you had cheese on the bottom one, 
and no cheese on the top one, and they shot out, it might land and make a, a grilled cheese sandwich. That could happen. I mean, I don't think it's probable. Probably not. Yeah. Probably but not. it could happen. And bread always lands cheese side down, so. I know. It's the opposite of cats. Yeah. They always land cheese side up. Yeah, always cheese side up. You ever seen the TikToks where the guy throws the cheese at people? Like yes. Like the babies? Yes. And his wife? You've seen that one? Yeah. He's, he keeps hitting his wife. <laughs> And there's one now that I saw the other day. He kept hitting his dog. And every time the dog would like look so surprised, and then we just eat the cheese, <laughs> which is just like the best response. Like you don't be mad, just eat the cheese, the, just accept the cheese. The first one I saw was the baby one, <laughs> and the baby's crying, and he throws the cheese on his forehead, and the baby stops immediately. It's just like, what? <laughs> what happened? Where am I, and why is this guy throwing this cheese at me? Whenever I become a parent, I'm gonna do that. I think that's fair. I'm gonna buy craft singles just for that. Good call. Yeah. So during our break, Paul brought up a valid concern. Yeah. That you thought about it before. Your, your idea is essentially a smaller toaster oven. Yep. Which uh, reminded me <laughs> of the t- the time we, when we were working together, where we had that big. Toaster oh my gosh! <laughs> 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 that thing was no toaster oven. That was a, that was a. a some conventional oven thing going on. I don't know what was happening. We had this toaster oven in the <laughs> in the staff area. And Alex, is, I had fried chicken. Yeah, yeah. I had yeah. gone to the store and got like the fried chicken thing mm-hmm. for cheap. And I had it in the fridge. And I had something you were like, oh, can I have some fried chicken? I was like, yeah. But, you know, I'm an animal and I was just right. eating it cold because I think f- cold fried chicken is good. Right, and right. you were like, I can't do that. I want I want to like warm it up. Yeah. And like, I'm going to put it in the toaster oven. <laughs> Which, under normal circumstances, would work just what fine. Would have been good. Nor- normal I circumstances. Don't know what happened. But you opened it and smoke was, yeah, it was everywhere. billowing out of this thing. And the chicken smelled great. <laughs> <laughs> but it was like, and it's like brand new building. And there's just smoke pouring or, out of everybody, it. Everybody knew coming in to check out the new building. It just smell like it smell burnt like? fried chicken. Oh, man, that was funny. That was a good time. That was a good time. All right. So, do you have any res- <laughs> response to the uh, toaster oven? No, I mean, I think it's. Conundrum? I think it's. I think it's somewhat valid. You yeah. know, I think it. You know, it's it's true. But I think that one of the issues with a normal toaster is you can't put anything on top of the bread. Like, you can't put butter on it. Otherwise, you're gonna like get grease inside your toaster oven. That's fair. So I think if you flip it horizontally, you don't. You know, you give it a little bit more. A little bit more use. A little few more options. Yeah. And there's some people who are just against toaster ovens for some reason. Yeah. So this would be good for them. Fair enough. Yeah. Fair enough. Um, I, this is not a new invention. Yeah. We're not bringing this one to Shark Tank. Right. But man, the Nike Air Mags, the Back to the Future shoe. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Self-lacing. Yeah, totally. tightening. That needs to be a real thing. That would be sweet. I mean, they have it now. There's right, some basketball right. shoes. I think they're called like the Nike BBs that they are self-lacing and they right. like tighten. But man, that that just on an everyday level sounds great. That and just any type of shoe yeah. to be able to have that type of technology yeah, would be phenomenal. It would be so cool. Like, and the, like and for it to work. Yeah. Yeah. Like a boot. To get a boot to fit really nicely. Yeah, real snug. But like, still hold its form. Yeah, would be incredible. the The hard thing with that is when you have mechanics inside of a shoe that's running around all day. Yeah, it's hard to keep those, you know, keep that working well. I don't know, man. They got it in a basketball shoe. It's kind of as rough as it can get. Where they're just kicking each other all the time. I mean, but how long does it work? I feel like that would that would dip they, out after a while. No, they're meant to play games in. I don't really? know. Really? Yeah. I don't know. Huh. I don't know. That's why the technology's not quite there. But man, that would be cool. Yeah. Yeah, like a like, like a snowboard bindings? system. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a like yeah. tightening. Yeah. That that could work like a like carbon fiber type line inside of it. Maybe. That'd be cool. That'd be cool. I don't think it would look as good though. I don't know. I, you could probably make it look good. Somehow. They could once they get there. But man, and I don't. I like shoes. I like sneakers. Yeah. And I like the tie. But to be able to have it look like it's tied and not have to tie it. Yeah. That sounds nice. I know. That's that's the issue with those things in Back to the Future. Like, he has the jacket, too, that's, yeah. like, self, self-fitting. self Nobody remembers that, though, because those shoes are so cool. Those shoes are way cool. But the self-fitting jacket had, like, coils on the elbow area. Yeah. That looks bad. 
Yeah, th- yeah and that's why it. they don't remember it. Yeah. Uh, Nike self lacing shoe. I know it's gonna. Oh, it it is. It's called the Nike Adapt BB. Let me see. It's only two hundred dollars for the Oreo one. Hang on, I'm the pulling Oreo it one. Yeah, that's like, the uh, like the black and white. Look, it looks like cookie cookies and cream. Oh, okay. It doesn't look bad. And not too bad. It is a little bulky looking. It kind of. For I mean, it's basketball shoes. I so. guess that's true. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. 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 Your next buy. No, definitely <laughs> not. I got a lot of other shoes on the list before that. Do they untie? They probably like release. They don't untie. Like, do you have to press a button? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. They yeah. Like loosen up. It'd be cool if you could like kick your heels and then just step out of them. That'd be cool. I used to have, I used to have, this is a little off topic. I used to have the, the wheelies, not heelies. I did have heelies too. But wheelies were the ones where you, there was like a button on your heels and you would kick out four wheels per per actual f- like shoe what yeah they were like did they go on the side of the shoe no, no bottom it was like it was like having skates on the bottom of your shoe but they were tiny wheels they so were they like, like, like half roller the size. skates like roller skates horrifying yeah. the hinges on them would n- <laughs> would not work what? some of the times they were like china made yeah. hinges too <laughs> yeah they would come out this way this imagine sounds like a lawsuit yeah totally you're rolling forward. Those front, those front wheels kick back, back into the sole of your shoe. And you, you still, just face plant. Yeah. yeah. And if you don't, you're wearing heels because the last, the back, the back two wheels are hinged are in. They, so they, they're still out. Yeah. <laughs> so it's the it was. Horrible. Did you have heelys too? Oh yeah. Oh, I, I loved never heels. had I heelys. Graduated. I never had heelys. My parents would never let me have them. Yeah. Really? I wasn't allowed to have heelys either. Why? I don't know. I had a scooter though. Scooters razor. are way hard, way way more dangerous. I don't know, but razor scooters were cool, man. Yeah, until you hit your ankle with them. I never did that. I'm, I'm too cool. Yeah, that is that is pretty cool. But man, I what a deadly that. weapon! Have you yeah. seen the TikTok of the guy that's got the the foam one? The foam one? Oh, yeah. on the on the trampoline? Or? No, no, he's in his room. Or maybe it's a girl. I don't remember. Yeah. But they have like a foam uh, with no wheels on it. It's just a foam scooter oh, yeah, to yeah, practice yeah. like the spinning movements. So like you jump up and you spin and like land on it. Yeah. And they're like using that voice filter that's like really high pitched. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And he's like, look, I got this foam scooter. So if it hits me in the shin, it won't hurt. Look, watch. And he hits him in the shin. And he's like, ah! yeah. he's like <laughs> screaming like because it hurts so bad because it's still a hard foam. Right, right, right. Yeah. Man. I think, obviously, I want self-driving cars. Right, right. I mean, that's an obvious because, man, that'd be great. Mm-hmm. But I I. I feel like we are in this weird mix where we have audiobooks and we've got Kindles. Yeah. But I want a better way to kind of pair the two. So like you get an audiobook and you get the or you get a Kindle book and you get the audio the audio too. It. So like I can That'd Bluetooth be cool. listen to some headphones and I can follow along. Oh, and it follows with it. Yeah. So it would turn the page and everything. Yes. Like that. that would be great cuz I listen to audiobooks all the time. I can't do it. I, I can't know. focus. And when it, whenever I'm listening to an audiobook that I also have the book of, because I'm like, all right, I don't have time to read this right now, but I want to get some of it in, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, I'm doing that with, I did that with The Hobbit, Lord of the Rings. I'm like, I, sometimes I want to read it, yeah. but sometimes I just want to listen to it. And I'd like search through every chapter, trying to figure out where it was. Yeah, I'd find it. But if it just went through on your Kindle, yeah, I would buy awesome. a Kindle then. Yeah. Because if I could listen to it too. Totally. Woo, man, that would be fun. You I, know, I would burn through so many books. You yeah. want to be able to make notes too. I'm like, that's why I can't listen to just audio book. Right. Cause I'm like, Oh, mental note there, I can't mental note a page. If I don't know what page I'm on. Right. Right. Problem. Yeah. But if I'm going to read it and I have to go figure out where it, you know, two, two minutes yeah. and 47 seconds to try and find exactly what I'm on a page. It's not worth it. It's not so to work together. Oh, the game would be changed. I, I, I totally they, agree. I think, the government doesn't want that because we've become too powerful. We've become so smart. We'd be too smart too quick. They yeah. wouldn't know what to do with us. We we'd read all the books on birds. <laughs> They're reading too much about the birds. <laughs> Take those off the Kindle. All bird books just fly out of Amazon shelves. We don't know what happened to all the bird books. Did you intend that pun? Yes. You didn't, did you? No. That was good. That oh was good. my mic just almost went for a tumble. Here's something I think Kindle could we're on the, we're on Kindle now. Okay. Our everyday item. I don't have a Kindle. Neither do I, but my wife does, so I guess it counts. Um, that counts. I, you know how they have like the paper white, yeah, that like looks great, looks like a book, no glare. 
I think they need to find out a way to make that colored. Because you can get like a Kindle, like a Kindle, uh, what was it, like the Kindle Fire or something mm-hmm. like that, that was like, it was an iPad, but it was just for books, basically. Mm-hmm. And it was your normal touchscreen thing. If they could perfect the no glare, like Kindle with paper color. white. Yeah, with color. So you could do like comics and kids books and stuff like that. That That'd would be, cool. be awesome. Yeah. And it would change phones, I think, forever. I think they don't want to go move to that price market. But but think about how that how that technology could be used if your phone felt the same, looked the same, but there was no glare. Yeah, I, I know what you're saying. I'm not disagreeing with you. I'm That'd just saying awesome. the reason like they lose money on money on those things on Kindles. Yeah, because that's why they price them so cheap. Oh, because the whole idea was they're not gonna are not not necessarily lose, but they're not gonna make money on them. They're gonna make money oh. on the books. Oh yeah, that yeah, was yeah. a whole setup of when Kindle first launched. Yeah, was that was the design. That makes Genius. sense because they are really cheap genius yeah design. there's uh, a company out now that's it, they make a tablet that I think it's called paper yeah and it's it looks like a piece of paper but it's a tablet and you can draw on it and it just feels just like a piece of paper yeah it saves and it's, it's just like a tablet I think they could probably do something like that because I mean I think that's all colored screen as well is it so you can you can draw in different colors yeah it's all touch screen it, you can draw in different colors it, it's, it's I imagine it's specifically multicolor, like specific multicolors. Like you have like a red, a yellow, an orange, a blue, you know, yeah. all those. But if you could do like the RGB scale or the CMYK scale, that would be awesome. That would be pretty cool. I thought of another one for the refrigerator. Yeah. I want a, uh, I want an app because they have apps for everything now, yeah. right? Yeah. I want an app that has um, some sort of delivery system. From your refrigerator mm-hmm. to your couch. To my couch. Yeah. Or upstairs. Either one. Yeah. Right? Because, like, think about this. I have my robot vacuum. Yeah. I can tell it to go anywhere in the house. It does. Yeah. Why can't we just attach that to my fridge? Yeah, I agree. Where there's a little robot vacuum. Even if I attach a robot vacuum, maybe I could just do it already. Wait, no. How would you How would it get it out of the fridge? I don't know. Well, the fridge has a little vending machine compartment. It just rolls it out. Lands on the robot vacuum, okay? Yeah. Somehow. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. the technology we got to build. It'd be a little the robot tube vacuum, or something that puts yeah. in there. Yeah. The robot vacuum just comes to me wherever yeah. I'm yeah, at, yeah, yeah, wherever yeah. I call it on the app, but it vacuums on the way. I'm great doing idea. so many things at once right there. I think it's great. That's genius. You could have, it, it would be set up into chutes, so you'd have to have sh- and things ladders. that fit into chutes. Yeah, and ladders. You could have a drink chute, a snack chute, I mean, two drink chutes, two <laughs> snack chutes. One for you, one for Erica each. Does, okay, well then if we're doing that, we cannot have it all in the same vacuum. That's going to be too heavy. No, no, no. That's what I'm saying is it goes back and forth. It, 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 oh, it catches one. one it's got a basket on top. Got it. catches got it. one of them. Maybe just, two if you want to be crazy. Yeah. And we just have it like serpentine pattern so it makes sure it gets more yeah, than it gets one, all of it, yeah. one area. Of, yeah. Also, I really like my robot vacuum. I do too. I still use Yours. My robot vacuum. I don't like mine. Mine's me. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, ours name is Nemo. Really? Yeah. Oh, because of the fins. Because the little fins, the yeah. little blade things. Eric said it looked like Nemo. I cannot unsee it. Yeah. It looks hilarious. <laughs> when, we, when we first got it, <laughs> this is so funny. When we first got it, and like we we set it up or whatever, yeah. we started running it, and you know we just let it run, right. and we were trying to still get used to it. Well, one of the times Eric and I were both home. Yeah. And she was like, she hadn't really seen it running because I was running right, it mostly right. at night. I like ran it. And I kid you not, we probably stood and watched it for probably three minutes. Yeah. It was a long time where we're just like looking at just, it. Yeah. And it's on smart mode where it's just basically bouncing around. Right, right. Cleaning stuff up. And we're just. <laughs> and Erica goes, he's kind of cute. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're so right. <laughs> it's so funny. And then later she was like, he looks like Nemo because yeah. of his little fence. So now his name is Nemo. You, it, it is weird how you just personify him automatically. It's yeah. like this little thing that go, it, like it's a robot, right? Yeah. It doesn't do anything. I mean, it doesn't have any feelings. Yeah. I think. Yet. I think. Yet. Yeah. But. Yet. yet. <laughs> but still, we were like, when when we got it, Tony and I had the discussion. We we're like, is it a him or a her? And we we're like, what are we going to call it? Be like, is, is he cleaning this room or is she cleaning this room? Yeah. And we decided it was a him and his full name is Euford now. It's a weird name. Well, his it, the brand name is Yufi, and so we're like, if we're gonna call him Yufi, which makes sense because it's written on the top of him like big letters. Yeah. So we can't be like 
Doug. And then it just says Yuffie up there, you know. Doug would be a funny man. Doug would be though. funny. Maybe I might, well, I might change it. <laughs> but we had, to, we had to name it for some reason. It was just, it's just natural for some Yeah. I think something us. you see that often you want to like, that moves yeah. on its own. You want to feel like you have some sort of dominance or control over it. Yeah. yeah. Just remember, I, I named you. I named you. Yeah. You're mine. <laughs> Actually, my, my cousin came over today and Yuffie was coming back from the bedroom and his bedroom. No, yeah, from his bedroom. <laughs> He's got his own room in your house. <laughs> he was going back to the charging port from our bedroom and like was, you know, making his way there, but he has to course correct as he goes so he makes sure he gets to the right spot. But he hit my cousin's foot and I was like, "Oh, he's just sniffing you because <laughs> he hasn't met you before." Oh my gosh. That story though funny just made me realize how lame we are, right? Yeah, now. <laughs> oh, totally. So lame. We are acting as if our uh vacuums are pets yeah which is weird yeah but also i mean better than the 90s when they had the pet rock where literally people just bought i got rocks. one of those for like a white elephant i don't know where he's good is. i elephant. lost him you lost him yeah i did that's unfortunate i mean he's scared out in the world right he's now. honestly probably with more of his people who yeah. are probably happy what else could we fix i think we need to fix glasses too what would you fix about glasses? Uh, my wife has the idea they need windshield wipers <laughs> for rainy days. Are they? Are they? Um, they're manual ones. I don't know. I think we. I think we have technology to make them. Make you want to make a mechanic like hey hey Google? I think we. It's a mode. And then do we, that. Thing. You know, put a little mode on the side that's like manual, like one time. Yeah, or yeah. Like just keep them going, baby. And they're yeah. just like they're hidden right on that top piece, and they just like pop out and like boop 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 boop. I mean, yeah, think about it. When it rains, I mean, they got to deal with it. And that. it's foggy when it rains for them, too. Paul, what would you what would you say to windshield wipers on your glasses? Uh, would you wear the glasses? If it wasn't noticeable there was windshield wipers on your glasses. Yeah. We would design it well. I mean, look at us. I think. Oh, let's hear, let's hear what he says. I'd say yes, but I think I want them to just, like, slide across. Yes, but you don't want, like. I don't want the. I don't want the. I like Got it. You want you want snake wipers want snake side to side. Yes. I think like, that is and, probably better in the sense of you don't get that missed corner piece that you get on oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, windshield. But you'd have to have perfectly square glasses then. That's well, true. Or you rectangular. Couldn't, you couldn't go round frames. Yeah. I mean, we're talking about Paul. He's not going to go round gonna, frame. He'd be fine with that. He would not Harry Potter frame it. Yeah. Not in Although, he should though. You think he'd look good? I think I, yeah. actually, I, did, I, I think, think he'd look good. I think we'd have to punch him in the forehead though. We'd have to give him a scar. Yeah, for sure. He's into that. We can't though. see it. We need a bigger one. More yeah. defined. One that looks we'll like throw a, ninja mm, a lightning bolt or something. Yeah. No, that's I mean that's copyright. He'll get sued. A cloud. We, yeah. A cloud. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely got I think it is a perfect triangle. Perfect. Just yeah. like right perfect here perfect though. Not center, just like right here. I think that's a great idea. Here was my thought with the uh, with the windshield wipers. If they were, you know, they're you have your glasses like this. Yeah, right? this is Erica's idea, by the way. I stole it from her. Erica, okay. great idea. If you had the windshield wipers like this, right? Wait, with I the, saw the glasses. Wait, the no, wipers. sorry, these are the glasses. Got it. If the windshield wipers were placed like in the top right corner yeah. right here, then the windshield wipers would be up and make you look like su- you had you were surprised. <laughs> you can make you can control go. what other people what emotion other people would see. With your windshield wipers. You could make it look angry. It'd be like animated eyebrows that also wipe your eyes. I mean, that's fair. I feel like that is taking a technology too far. Maybe. You know, there's like that money grab with things happen. And you're like, this was functional. Now we're past functional. Right. I feel like that's past functional. That's like novelty after everybody already has it. That's true. Um, You know what they've tried a lot? At least I've what? seen this for years and it's never been successful. And I don't totally understand why. Yeah. Some would understand why. Is like sunglasses that have, or like sports glass, like running glasses that yeah. have the earbuds yeah. in them. Yeah. You know what I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah, yeah, Those have never like made it. They have, they have new ones that have the bone conducting. Yeah, the bone conducting stuff, which yeah. is like still a new technology. It seems like it's still working out its bugs. Yeah. But like, I, I don't understand why they didn't make it. I think, I think I get it. If Beats did it, man, they'd do it so well. I love my Beats. But I mean, it's just so much more convenient to have your headphones in and also your glasses. 
Because, like, if you think about it, you have to have your glasses. Like, if you bought a pair of glasses like that, they'd have to be your prescription. You wouldn't wear them no, all no, the time. No, no, not glasses. Sunglasses. They're, like, for running. Oh, yeah, yeah. They're, yeah. like, sports glasses. So it's, like, when you're going out running or whatever and you're wearing okay. sunglasses or whatever. And they're attached and they can, like, fold down and go in. Which is just, like, what AirPods have done now. Just AirPods detach. Yeah. So my whole thing is, like, why don't they just have a, one that the AirPods can attach in? Because here's the funny part. Apple's a genius. Yeah, they are. They pitched AirPods. People ate that up yeah. and bought them. Then people started realizing, I'm losing my AirPods. So they need the cord. Do we, I think we talked about this So last they week. put the dang cord on, right? Yeah. At this point, they should just be like, hey, we got these really cool Oakleys. They have a slot for your AirPods to hold on to and stay in while you run. That is a good idea. That that would be cool. Like ones that are adapted. I mean, you'd have to be brand specific, but Apple could do it. Apple, it's Apple. Apple Oakley Apple or something like that. Yeah. Specific. Hey, Apple, hit me up. That was my idea. Yeah. But because like AirPods stay in pretty well. Yeah. But I mean, now all you're pitching is basically a little a little holder. Right, right. On some, but I would be like, I might do that. Yeah. Just to make sure they stay on. Because like, I won't wear my AirPods if it's like I'm moving too aggressively. Well, yeah. Or so you're at the lake. Out. Or I'm at the you're lake. You're driving a boat. That's, I don't ever do that. But I Fair wish enough. I did. I wish yeah. I had a boat. Yeah. Also, self inflating paddle board. Yeah, okay. Oh, Great idea. Thank you. We're all on board with this. <laughs> <laughs> on paddle board. On paddle board. Yeah, because you could buy one of the ones that's like with, with your car, right? But when you're going paddle boarding, like every time we go paddle boarding, it is like eight people. Yeah. We, and that thing would, just, that would overheat. Yeah, for sure. But if I just be like, whoop, yeah. And just, whoop. well, you, you know, the guy who's made the like, it needs to make that noise. Inflatable chair, but it, it's like one of those ones that you'd like drag through the wind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What like if we could kite. get a paddle board like that? I feel like the I I feel like we need a thicker material Maybe. that it's probably not going to affect. But I want to be able to hit a button that just that like, be cool. sucks all the air in around it and just pops up. Yeah, really yeah, quick. yeah. Because uh, doing the 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 pump. Oh gosh, I'm dead. They have ones for like um, inflatable mattresses. Inflatable mattresses. That's just uh, a motor. Yeah, yeah. I have one of those. Yeah. Yeah. So we need just a waterproof I a, motor. I have a queen bed, one of those, and it's battery powered. Why don't they just have that on there? That's a great idea. Yeah. I don't understand. And people are like, just get a hard body one if you want. No. I want an inflatable one. They're better. And they fit in places that a hard body one wouldn't. Amen, brother. Hey, we should go paddle boarding soon. Yeah. Not like it's getting, it's getting warmer. Yeah. It's too cold now. Yeah. Because yeah. I'm a baby. Yeah. And like, nah. It snowed today in Flagstaff. That's crazy. That means I'm like. It hailed at Israel's work today. Yeah, I'm like two months out from paddleboard. Yeah. I'll be straight with you. I'm but like a month. I'd go. I'd go in April. We'll see what April looks like. Yeah. Because if it stays close to this, mm-mm. Because like they say it's like 20 degrees colder than the 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 coldest part of the day. Oh, the, the water. lake. The water. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am not a 60 degree water person. I think I am. I'm like, if, if for me, it's like I can hang out on the board most of the time. And then when I get really hot and I feel like I'm starting to get a sunburn, I dip into the water. No, man, that's too cold. You that's, just dip in, you a, get back out. It's a nice, refreshing. Not if it's windy, because it's always windy on the lake. Yeah. And 60 and windy. You well, have to go on a sunny it's day. It's not the water. It's getting out. Can't do it. I'm just like, eh. <laughs> you yeah. know, my body sucks. And then I'm, yeah, then yeah, I'm yeah, stranded because yeah. I can't paddleboard because my arms, everything is just contracting. I'm like, that's what it looked like. I think I think we should definitely go if that's if that's what it's going to look like. But be self-inflating so- paddleboard that would change my life. That would. That if would someone has the technology, uh, I, I mean, they're already doing the self, you know, unfolding tents. Exactly, which are sick, by the way. They are. Yeah. I like my tent. I haven't gotten to use it much. My little two-person. Yeah, yeah. Is that yeah. is that one of the self-opening ones? No. Oh, I want one of those so bad. No, it's only it only weighs one pound though. That's cool. Oh, it's a backpacking one. Mm-hmm. Ah, that's it's incredible. Nice. I want to go backpacking more. Anyways, what do you got? Any wisdom for these fine folks that have made it this far in the episode? Yeah. Uh, start naming the robots in your house. It's fun, and it makes you feel less lonely while you're working from home. Also, I assume, I, not out of personal experience. Yeah. Also, uh, you should be nice to them. Because yeah. when they take over, you want to make sure it's clear that you're on their side. Yeah. And you want to, if you have a robot vacuum, 
vacuum it or sweep it yourself sometimes just so that he knows. Give him a day off. You know? Yeah, give him a day off. He's valued. Uh, I will end with this. Our robot vacuum. Yeah. Uh, I'm just cleaning the house. Sure. I was sitting on the couch, not really paying attention. Uh, normally, this door to the podcast, yeah. the studio, is closed. Uh, it was open. Yeah. And so I was sitting there watching TV, and I just kind of thought, I don't hear the vacuum. And it's been a while. Yeah. So I started looking around. It's not beeping because it beeps if it gets stuck, right? Yeah. Usually. Uh, came in here. All of our lights were knocked over. Oh, yeah. They, there was <laughs> yeah. literally this room was just trashed. Yeah. Like things yeah. were knocked over all over the place. And the vacuum was up against the stuck underneath uh, the chair Paul sits in, my yep. desk chair. Yep. Um, so he had just destroyed this whole place. Yep. And so we had a little discussion. We got over it. We worked through he it. He learned. And he's better now. But it was a good time. Oh, I have something. How much time do we have? Can I share this last thing? You have three, three minutes. minutes. We got this. When we first got ours, we were letting it do its auto thing. So it's going around the entire house trying to map it out. And there was a cricket on the ground. Like a little little cricket that was like, you know, hanging out in our house. He's a good sized cricket. And he started going towards it. And I was like, is he going to eat the cricket? Like, is this, is this going to be like a little battle? Is the cricket going to jump away? Went right over the cricket. Gone. He ate the cricket. That's I was so happy. My, my robot vacuum eats bugs. I think the cricket was dead. No, it wasn't dead. I had seen it move. How did it just not move? How did I don't it just know. Let itself die. I have no idea. It's crazy. Well, I'm so proud of him, though. I'm proud of him too. Yeah. Hugh. Nope. Euford. Euford. Euford Miles. Yeah. Or Euphy. Car's sure. name was Herbert. Hubert. Hubert. Yeah. Hubert. Is that the one I named? Yeah, it was Hugh, and then you're like, it should be Hubert, and I was like, that's great. I'm gonna do that. It was Hubert. May he rest in peace. Yeah. Thank you so much for listening. We appreciate you guys. We love you. You are wonderful. Uh, thank you for listening to all of Alex's wisdom. He's always he's just the most wisdomous man we know. Yep. Um, and we look forward to talking to you all into your ears again next week. Thanks for listening. And remember, stay off.